Yo, what's good, new gang? Today I'm going to to Demon Slayer Season 2, Fade District Arc Sensei. By Sensei, you know what I'm saying? If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, help your boys 20k. Let me know what you guys want to see next. The homie Sensei, bro, has been fucking grinding. He, he dropped the video two days ago, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think I uploaded it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. The homie going to surprise us with a new one, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing your fucking thing, Sensei. But, but yeah, let's get straight into it, bro. W green screen. Oh my God. Yo, 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 Brago. Yo, what's good, my guy, up, bro? Just nigga? the guy I was looking what's for. What's up, nigga? How you been, bro? Bro, I've been chilling, bro. Listen, yeah, listen. Bro. So you know how, like, I've been doing the videos, right? Right. On the Sensei. Going stupid, bro. This man's been fucking grinding. I've been breaking down series and all that. Flex. Bro, so I'm watching Demon Slayer the other day, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. First thing I'm thinking is, like, bro, why I'm on this mid? But then I was like, nah, oh, this joint kind of fire. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It, it is kind of fire. I, I'm a hater on, for real. Bro. You know, because it, it go crazy. You know how I feel it go crazy. It, dude, it, it be going crazy, bro. But you know how I feel about One Piece. You feel me? They breaking records now. I'm like, man, they kind of talking I crazy about it. numbers. I feel it. I feel I'm saying. It. No, so, like, but nah, but that's, that shit hard. You feel me? Yo. But, so, I'm watching it, bro. Yo. And yo, I seen a nigga on here, right? Yo. Bro, he like 6'5, bro. Okay. Like, you feel me? Bro, looking like, you know what I'm saying? He about to <laughs> be a point guard in the NBA. Like, you feel me? Swoped up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga named Tangan, right? Who's bro. Yeah, bro. The nigga got three wives, bro. Go. Hey, 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 bro. Yeah. That shit is lit, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna uh, hold you. you that shit me? is lit you as fuck. But fuck all that, though. You ain't even talk about a Kaza, nigga. Come on, Akaza. bro. A Kaza, the Akaza. little smoke demon, bro. Yo, the little the nigga from Mugen Train. Mugen Train, nigga. Yo, this I ain't nigga gonna lie, pulled yo. up one in all the smoke, and this nigga was such a smoke demon. He was whooping this nigga ass and said, "Yo, why don't you turn into a demon like me, so we can fight?" Oh, even yeah, nah. more come on yo, bro you ain't talking about a talking, he talking, yo he was spazzing that's bro. the nigga that yo he, he the nigga that smoked the flaming hot cheeto bag come on bro that nigga was going yeah. that nigga was going <laughs> nuts dog i'm talking about this nigga was regenerating like in fucking two seconds nigga hey rengoku that's my nigga bro i fuck well, with him bro. just like everybody facts, else bro facts, flaming hot and all that real, real shit but that nigga go hard though that nigga go crazy yeah, low, key, low key low key i'm not gonna oh, lie God. i'm not gonna hold you probably should have oh, won God. i ain't gonna lie he, he probably, i ain't gonna lie probably should have won yeah for real not fact but i ain't gonna lie when i first seen him I was hating a little bit. Oh, come you feel on, me? Bro, why? When I first seen him, no, when I first seen him, no, I was like, okay, you feel me? Like, what kind of breathing style is he got? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I thought I thought he was about to come out with Hines, you feel me? Catch up a mustard and all oh. that. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I didn't really get Damn. it, you feel me? Like, the hair was kind of crazy. His hair was you know going saying? a little crazy. But he grew on me. He, he did grow on me. You know what I'm saying? I, okay, I'm gonna be honest. The first time we saw that nigga, we saw that nigga when there was like meeting and all that shit, right? And that nigga right. was acting like he a little. Like a little, little different, you know what I'm saying? Like every time they ask him a question, he just like just be yelling and shit. I'm like, yo, is this is this nigga all the way there for real? You know what I'm saying? But like, after that, bro, homie don't like talking, huh? And he just like just be yelling and shit. I'm like, yo, is this is this nigga all the way there for real? You know what I'm saying? But after that, bro, after that nigga, that nigga came out and that nigga started going crazy. I'm like, yo, this nigga, this nigga is legit, bro. Right. And if is it true? If if bro, if it wasn't for this nigga Kaza being a demon, like on a different type of time, Rengoku had that shit, bro. And honestly, like when the sun's about to come up and shit, I'm like, yo, Rengoku about to kill this. This nigga, this nigga is a G, bro. He's a legend, but Akaza, dog, he put yeah. that nigga in that situation where this nigga, yo, he had to, um, he had to sacrifice himself. And Akaza oh, still got away, pretty much. He was good. He still got away. You still, he still. Got, I ain't gonna lie though, my man Tanjiro threw a sword through his chest. He though, did. You feel me? He did when he was running <laughs> he away and shit. He call, called him a coward. Yo, he and almost came back for that nigga. Damn, he almost did. He almost came back for that nigga. He was about to spin the block. Yo, he, he was like, he man, definitely was about to spin the block. Look, no, Tanjiro was talking kind of crazy. He's like, yo, you a coward? Tanjiro basically said he a bitch. He basically called him a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. I felt like, bro, he had though. Almost spin the block, bro. But when I, when he spin the block, I was like, bro, what? Nigga, how's he gonna get away from the sun? I, I thought like he did, did he have some like SPS forty on? Like type, he had some. Nigga, I, he gonna spin the block. I feel like he gonna spin the block because that yeah, nigga he, he not gonna block, take bro. that shit like that, bro. That nigga was yeah, disrespectful. You, you seen him in a new season? He he punching a tree and he shit. Mad he mad as shit. hell. <laughs> he broke that. He broke that man's sword. Bro, he he mad the sword? as hell, bro. He like fuck, dog. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that little ass. Nigga, all right, bro. all right. Nah, nah, nah. I definitely know. Nah, he getting a whole portion in this video, bro. He getting a whole portion. You don't convince me, bro. Come on, give my nigga his respect, bro. Is a fucking smoke demon, Z. Facts. Okay, Yo. yeah, it's time, it's time, it's time. Y'all remember when I covered Demon Slayer? I don't know, it was a few months ago. Me and CJ the Chan, we collabed it up and all that. Oh, we're back. We are back to. Yo, I didn't know y'all collab, bro. What the fuck? Day. And we're gonna talk about Demon Slayer and the Fire. Entertainment District arc. I did not know y'all collabed.
Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Yo, first and foremost, man, y'all heard my man Brock on the intro, bro. We have to talk about this nigga, Akaza and Rengoku, bro. Or who I like to call Flaming Hot Hashira, aka Chester Cheeto, aka it ain't easy being <laughs> cheesy. But when it ain't easy being cheesy for him right now, <laughs> but it is easy, rest in peace, because that nigga is smoked. Anyways, yo, this man Akaza is a demon, bro. Can we just take a second to look at this magnificent specimen, bro? But first of all, bro, this man got stripes on him like Adidas, bro. What is going on with this nigga? Like, 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 like bro got the same lines on him like a basketball guy, but that's neither near or there. This man man is a <laughs> demon you know why he's a demon because that nigga's literally a demon but, but but you know why else he's a demon this nigga has no weapons this nigga don't fight with no swords no tonfas you feel me no staffs no blicky none of that you know what he fights with those mother hands but this nigga got straight hands bro so basically this man akaza wants flaming hot to become a demon bro he's like bro i need you to become a flaming hot demon not no flaming hot cheeto you feel i need you to become a demon so we can fight forever and become stronger and stronger bro that's how you know somebody is a smoke demon bro when their whole ambition is to just be stronger and stronger and stronger over time who <sighs> that nigga's really a goat so anyways of course when goku refuses this you feel me? he's like no 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 not today there's no way i'm becoming a demon bro i'm a hashra i smoke demons bro i'm a demon smoker i'm a <laughs> Look at that yeah. side right now. That upper moon pack right now. That's what the Hashras be on. So, yo, this man Akaza was not trying to hear none of that. He straight ran up with a destructive force joint. He ran up. And I know y'all are thinking. Bro, this man can regenerate all his limbs and shit. What the fuck can kill him? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Get like, okay, what did Rengoku do? Well, he was slashing. But you know, my man Akaza got them motherfucking hands. He Hmm. Bing. Hmm. Hmm. Weave. Weave. Hmm. Hmm. He's punching the sword, bro. You know what nigga is that nigga? When he's punching blades, bro, he is not blocking Boy. them shits. No, he's punching the sword. What's a whole difference? So these niggas start boxing crazy. Tanjiro and Nosuke, they watching, but they have no idea what's happening. All you see on the screen is a whole bunch of lights. Flashing. Flashing. Lies. Lies. I thought they were reacting <laughs> to Kanye song. Nigga, all you saw was lightsabers <laughs> flashing. Nigga, I thought Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi was here. Bro, you know this nigga is a demon, right? So they and they exchange it back and forth. When Goku uses his flame Hashira style and he cuts this nigga's arm off, bro regenerates his arm mid swing and punches the nigga through the regeneration. Like, bro, he cut his arm off. Bro, this nigga punches and kicks so hard that he makes bro. air blast. Bro, he was punching in the air. You see these blue air slashes coming from his fucking punches. Oh my God, bro. Somebody put this man Akaza in Dragon Ball Z. This nigga is not playing. Talk about. No, that's a fat boy. I was just thinking about that. Uh, the. What's you, the Kai Kai blast? Is that what you call it? The Kai blast? I forget. But the ones where like they shoot it out, they like singly, single, 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 singly, 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 singly. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Upper Moon Three, man, this nigga is a smoke god. How you punch with so much ferocity that you breaking the laws of physics? This Gosh. man Einstein would have hated Akaza, bro, cause he done broke about four scientific laws just by punching and doing that. So at this point, <laughs> my man Rengoku is tight, bro. This nigga is mad as a bitch, bro. He is not playing. He's like, okay, so you want to play? So we use this new style. And this nigga charge up. I'm like, hold on, what's going on? And then this nigga do a mad speed dash, bro. Look like he was about to side AM on Smash Bros, bro. But <laughs> my man Akaza is not playing, bro. He uses his fist once again and blocks this. This nigga, this Mike Tyson ass nigga. How do you be punching so? And then it don't help that in the first episode of the Entertainment District art, you see this nigga in the woods punching swords once again, but it's Tanjiro's. He breaks Tanjiro's sword with his bare hands, but that's neither near or there. Man, this nigga just likes punching blades at this point. Whole time this is going on too, it's a techno. Bro, it's like he likes getting sliced up. He loves it. It gives him more energy type shit beat in the background i'm like oh my god like i thought somebody was in the club doing molly bro you just hear this motherfucking techno beat going bro went to punch this nigga chester cheeto and he dodged it right but he punched this nigga rengoku so hard that the air pressure sliced his forehead open and then right oh. after this the nigga gets punched through his sword he punches the nigga in the eye where the scar is at this point they went for one last exchange bro and this nigga rengoku is frozen bro literally from head to toe just standing there tanjiro's like oh my god is this nigga dead bro this man rengoku look like he done seen a guy Damn ghost. But this whole time, this man Ren Goku is deep breathing. You feel me? He's <sighs> tired. This man Akaza on the smoke demon shit that he is on. He like, hey, bro, don't stop now, nigga. And look at his face, bro. He's like, I'm not done with you. That was nothing. 
Head ass. Yeah. You don't die because we got to keep scrapping. That's all this nigga Akaza cares about. He starts talking heavy like, bro, even if you fight to the death, you still going to lose. Nigga, you was a bum. He talking about I done turned your organs into corned beef ash and you just a walking dead man, bro. But then this Cheeto nigga done turned up, bro. He really got flaming hot. This man looked like he was about to go super saiyan. His body start heating up. I said, okay, hold on, hold on. Nigga said, set your heart ablaze. I said, okay, nigga, what you got? Heartburn, indigestion, upside stomach diet. Like, nigga, need some Pepto <laughs> Bismol. Like, well, what's going on? So this nigga dashed the head with this invisible fire. You feel me? Fake ass elemental attack. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. He went to slash him. He like blocked it with his hand. But yo, this nigga twisted the blade mid stomach and went to slash the other way. <sighs> But only cut a part of this nigga's face, bro. Cause when the dust settled, I thought that nigga Rinkoku had won. But then you see Akaza's arm in that nigga's chest, like he opened up a pirate's treasure, bro. Like I know that was bars, but oh my god, bro, he skewered this nigga, bro. You just see his whole arm, bro, and you just see the back of this nigga. Oh my yo, sliced up arm. Oh, that's. R.I.P. Cheeto, man. The Akaza's arm in that nigga's chest like he opened bro. up a pirate's treasure, bro. Like, I know that was bars, but oh my God, bro. He skewered this nigga. Bro, you just see his whole arm, bro. And you just see the back of this nigga Rengoku's cape protruding where this dude's fist is. His arm was elbow deep inside this nigga. Oh, pause. That was crazy. So after this <laughs> happens, yo, it really snapped this man Rengoku into a whole flashback. You know you getting your ass beat when your whole life flashed before your eyes, but it ain't that even ass. your life, bro. It's a flashback of a moment you had with Oh my God, he looks like that your whole life flash before your eyes but it ain't even he looks like that one cartoon bro uh what was it Ni uh nickelodeon nickelodeon uh it's the 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 character with the the green pants the black shirt and that type that type of hair right there that fire colorish hair look to it you know what i'm saying fuck jake jack I forgot the name of the show. In your life, bro, it's a flashback of a moment you had with your mom. Like, bro, when a nigga beats you into a flashback, oh my God, bro. So this man having a flashback and he kind of snaps out of it and it gets to reality. And he ends up trying to cut this nigga's head off even though he's literally dead right here on this man's arm. So at this point, this man, I constantly see the sun coming up and he's like, oh, no, no, I gotta get out of here. You feel me? And I don't blame him because when the demons see the sun, they ain't got no FPS 40 on, bro. <laughs> that is really gonna get their ass. <laughs> ain't gonna die, boy. He's gonna end up like homie. But Cheeto boy burnt up. So this man about to try to dip off and all that, but this man Ren Goku is holding this dude's arm in his other the chest cavity. He can't pull his arm out. It reminded me of the One Piece when Kamazo had to siphon Zoro. You remember Zoro? And he couldn't pull it out. Bro, that's literally what happened with this man's arm. So at this point, you know, Scan Tanjiro, they go to speed through. You feel me? They like, all right, we gotta cut this nigga head off while he's stuck here, bro. We have to do this. It don't matter what Ren Goku said. We own this nigga ass. So they go to cut his head off, and right then the sun is about to come out, and this nigga Akaza, like the demon he is breaks off both his own arms regenerates him and then runs into the woods as fast as possible nigga was running like the dude and get out man this man tandra was talking <laughs> so heavy to this nigga though he's standing at the end of the woods like you're a coward you're a bitch. so the only thing that can hurt him and really do damage is sunlight the light that is fucking wild bro Man's damn near immortal. He could sit in the woods all his life. You know what I'm saying? Not bother anybody. That's crazy. Nigga, we be out here fighting in the dark, nigga. Y'all niggas be running when the sun come up, nigga. Y'all scared of the sun, nigga. What you an anime weed, nigga? Touch some grass, bitches, nigga. Like, yo, he's talking heavy. But anyway, this man, I caused him got away, bro. And I'm like, ah, uh, damn, oh. yo. Now, at this point, they you, you should have known, though. You should have known this man's gonna regenerate his shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you should have figured he was gonna break his shit off eventually. That's crazy. Go through a whole sad part where Rin Goku dies that we're not gonna talk about. Cause man, fuck Chester Cheeto, bro. That nigga got smoke. Now this one they have a Big whole time. training montage. They done trained for some months, you feel me? And we going into the entertainment district arc. Now this is what currently is on in the anime. There's seven episodes out. Might be eight by the time I put this video out. Maybe nine. I don't know. I don't know when I put this video out. However, we're in heavy spoiler territory. And that's how I'm gonna end the video. You feel me? Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I'm about to go into heavy spoilers about everything that's happened so far. Give y'all a second.
all right so fast forward past the little transition art your little training and all that we meet this nigga tangan uzui bro this nigga tangan is 6'6 look like he about to be a point guard on the knicks and he is a fine ass specimen bro first off why are you that good looking bro out of all the hashiras you were probably the finest bro and there's some girls on there bro like you so fine i thought you looked better than a girl and i'm straight Pulse. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he got three wow yeah boy 90 degree angle hello you're not saying Ooh. guys bro not one not two not three not one of those three three bro he got three <sighs> got three wives bro i ain't gonna lie bro like how you do you know what i ain't even gonna ask that question yo because you find us here yeah boy either your schlong either your meat long as fat or you cute as fuck you know what i'm saying i know how you did it bro you <laughs> So anyways, his wife's a Kanichis, like little ninjas and all that. So they end up missing, right? So he comes, he's talking to Tanjiro and those guys and that soon. He's like, look, man, I'm about to go investigate this. I need y'all to come with me. And I'm like, okay, okay. So what's about to happen? We're about to go straight to action. <sighs> But I would have been wrong, bro. Because this nigga Tangan has these niggas dress up as women and go into these like brothels. Well, they're not really brothels. I don't really know what to call them, bro. It'd be Y'all dressing up as a female? Gentlemen. <laughs> Will you ever dress up as a female? And for what? To find somebody? Hell no. As women and go into these like brothels. Well, they're not really brothels. I don't really know what to call them, bro. It'd be like the kimono girls be there and all that. You feel me? But he dresses these niggas up like women. <laughs> These niggas is dressing up like bitches. So anyways, <laughs> they end up finding out that there's an upper moon demon here in one of these brothels. This man Tanjiro out here doing chores and shit at his place. And Nosuke running around. He's smelling some weird shit. But he knows it's a demon, but he can't find it. Yo, this is funny ass part where Nosuke running around the corner. He thinks he found the demon, but it's just some horny ass dude. And he punches him dead in his nose. He was like, boom. He punched <laughs> this nigga so hard, bro. His whole fucking face split open. I was like, Nosuke, why you find ass out here? Man's got a crate on his fucking face right now, boy. Oh, Look like a black a hole. On. Yo, stop. Yo, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Damn, he punched this nigga so hard, bro. His whole fucking face split open. I was like, you know, Skay, why you find ass out here? Put Hold on. He's a kid. Hold on. Yo, stop. Yo. Ta. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> yo, they about to cancel me for that, yo. I got to chill. But anyway, where okay. are we at? Oh, yeah. Upper Moon Demon. So we find out there's some bitch with ribbon powers, yo. This bitch out here motherfucking wrapping paper is motherfucking powers. Like, she got these ribbon, this kimono-ass ribbons and shit. They really kimonos, but they look like ribbons to me. But it, that's neither near or there. So basically, she has this power where she can absorb people into her kimono and then save them for later. She ends up doing this in this underground-ass bunker. This Bro, what the fuck? Imagine getting sucked up like that just to be in in a fucking i don't even know bro some haunted type of shit boy this shit looks scary absorb people into her kimono and then save them for later she ends up doing Hell this man. in this underground ass bunker this call of duty black ops 2 ass motherfucker nuketown 2021 ass bunker like bro she got these people underneath the ground like <laughs> they just in the kimono chilling and my man zanetsu got put in a pack here and my nigga taking his wives bro i know you probably wondering how did my nigga zanetsu get put in a pack so basically zanetsu had the unluckiness of being unluckiness nigga <laughs> is that a word like Anyways, he had the unlucky pick of litter, you feel me? Because the upper moon demon was at his brothel, you feel me? So he sees her about to attack this little ass kimono girl. And of course, in this suit with his simp ass, he gonna jump in the way and grab her arm. I'm like... Zanessu, come on, bro. You know that you can't fuck with her for real. Like, why are you even trying this, yo? She bitch slaps the shit out of Zanessu. She hits this nigga with the almighty put. No, she smacks this nigga with a straight forearm. Boom. I said, oh my God. This nigga flies into the wall. He got put in the pack. Go be on that. That's Zanessu pack right now, bro. That nigga, he was in the kimono. You feel me? He in there sleep. My motherfucking snot bubble come out of his nose and all that. Anyways, man. And those guys are finding this underground bunker and Zanessu and the wives yo. get free. While this is happening, happening this is a little bit yeah. later tanjiro has the unlucky task of fighting an upper moon demon but i was confused because this man tanjiro started using his sun breathing technique you feel me and he started doing okay like he was actually fucking with her like he was reacting to feel me and he started doing okay like he was that was too close baby girl you better hey ten toes
Homie almost fucked you up. Actually fucking with her. Like, he was reacting to her and shit. Like, the more he fought, the better he was getting. I was like, Yo. Oh, she about to fall back. Yo, is this my fucking Tanjiro? Like, uh, like Hashira level? Like, upper moon level? Like, what is going on? At one point, yo, this man goes OD with the breathing. He's about to smoke her. But right before then, this nigga runs out of stamina, bro. This nigga. <sighs> You were this fucking close to getting her. And hey, you ran out of breath, my boy. Now she finna fold you. <sighs> right before she's about to smoke this nigga, bro. We have to talk about this demon editor. Please cue the menace of music. There is a demon literally in the box on my Roddy Richard. Let's go all in the box. All, all, all in the box. <clears throat> Fill up the whole damn seal, about to get crazy. Like, yo, when this man Nezuko pops out the box and kicks the sh Bro, she field goal punch the shit out of this upper moon six. Oh Boom! I said, oh my god, nigga, is that Ronaldo Messi? Oh, like, goddamn! Yo, yo she facts. kicks this so hard, half her face falls off. She's like, how dare you do this to me? And then starts cutting off Nezuko's limbs. But right when this happens, oh my god, Nezuko literally ages up right before our eyes. And I don't know if the Japanese mangaka that wrote this did this in the manga or if it was just the animators but they are some horny niggas bro because not only did she get a power up she got titties like literally two seconds before she was flat chested she looked like plank from ed ed Nettie. now all of a sudden she got fucking titties where did the titties come from where did they grow Yo. she got a horn in her head and the horn depicts how horny these niggas is bro why does she have titties bro she got oh my god bro yeah Bro, what is going on, bro? She's a oh, minor. Uh, bro, this bitch Nezuko has some crazy ass powers, bro. She gets to cutting her limbs off. They just regenerate. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. That's touching my screen. Watch out. <laughs> she like, yo, she got upper moon level regeneration. I'm like, damn right. Yo, she is not playing with niggas. Bro, God. Shorty Nezuko Whoa. congeals her blood mid limb getting cut off and rocks her mid air using the blood as an extra limb. Boom! I'm like, oh my God. After this, bro, Shorty falls down. And this is the most demon time shit I done seen Nezuko do. Matter of fact, almost any demon do, bro. She channeled her inner Atlanta, bro. I thought that she was TI for a minute because she walked up to this bitch while she's on the ground. And she Started a town stomping her. Boom, boom. Barefoot too. Imagine, hold on. Imagine her with like some Tims or these fat ass boots on, bro. Ooh, bro, she tooted it up too. That's crazy. While she's on the ground, it started a town stomping her. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, oh my god. Now after all this punishment that she unleashed on this upper moon six, that bitch was a little hangry. She was a little hungry. That bitch needed a Snickers. Nezuko used a lot of energy, and she sees these people in this room. And I ain't gonna lie, she started drooling her motherfucking mouth. She's talking. <sighs> Drool coming out of her mouth. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh my god, she looking like the dog from Sandlot. Bitch, like Beethoven and shit. Like, bro, she is about to eat these niggas. But of course, Tanjiro comes and saves the day and puts his sword in her mouth. He's on the ground wrestling her and shit. They rolling around. Stop dropping roll. She done made this nigga go to the first floor, the top floor. Bro, they are in here fighting for their fucking life. And the upper moon six demon comes back and she walks in and I ain't gonna. Is she a fucking robot now? What the fuck? I thought she just got obliterated earlier. Lie, bro. She is about to smoke Nezuko and Tanjiro, bro. And then this nigga Tengen shows up. And oh my God, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. He made the one of the most craziest entrances ever, bro. He flies in here. You just see a bunch of shit going here, here, there, there, and everywhere. I'm like, oh my God, what's about to happen? And then he says it. You ain't no upper moon demon, soft ass bitch. And she looks dumbfounded. And right before she responds, she goes to open her mouth and her fuck head collapses in her lap bro he cut her head clean off while he was making an entrance bro the hashiras are built different well that's what i thought at first bro because after this happens this bitch starts having a tantrum <laughs> they jump me <laughs> she starts crying sounding disgusting bro and then she calls her brother and i'm like brother and then it happens bro the truth is revealed bro because her brother was lying dormant in her body this whole time and he is the real power to this operation her brother comes straight out and gets to flaming his own sister he's like there there now i know you don't have that many brains to really do anything yourself he's helping her regenerate and all that she's like brother they didn't jump me he's like oh i can't have them jumping my mentally challenged sister I'm like oh my god yo but before i tell y'all what happened next bro we have to take a second y'all didn't think that we were getting through this whole video and i was not about to flame this bony ass jealous ass <laughs> bro, first of all, before i even get the get
it in your physical appearance, bro. We have to talk about how you are just a jealous, hating ass nigga, bro. You're like, oh my God, you got three wires. Must be nice. I'm that trying ass. to get like you, my boy. Like this man really out here on this hating shit. Really player hating on this man tanging. Like you got three wives. I can't believe. But bro, bro, if you don't get some fucking bone spur body built ass, he needs some milk. Calcium deficient looking ass. The fuck out of here, nigga. You got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, M. No, no, not M's, nigga. You got about twenty ribs in your body, nigga. If you don't get your baby back, baby back, baby back, chilies, baby boy, baby back ribs looking ass, nigga. <laughs> Oh, I done blew and blew you over, bony looking ass nigga. Like, bro, this man is bony as hell, bro. I could play the xylophone on his ribs, nigga. Dead Sorry, I had to really get this nigga. But anyways, at this point, this man, Tangan, doesn't know what to do, bro. Because this man is reacting faster than him. He's bro. cutting him and all of that. So this man, Tangan, start using tacticals from Call of Duty. He starts throwing little grenades at him and shit. But his sister done used the kimonos to make a big-ass ball of yarn around him. She done protected him from the blast. Wow. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's as far as we got so far. Yo, this arc is getting crazy but for real for real i ain't gonna lie i didn't really see the twist of him being the real power behind the whole operation and she's definitely not the brain so i guess he's the brains and the bronze yep. how you the bronze when you bony i, I don't I, damn like, i don't know nigga but uh, this player's crazy <laughs> yeah the road that homie you know what i'm saying he needs some milk head that boy god damn bro yo Whole lot of shit went on in this one, bro. Man's a fucking demon, this man right here, boy. Can't be out in the sunlight. Or he's cooked, you know what I'm saying? What else? This fucking shorty, bro. Oh, my lord. Lord have mercy. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy, bro. Ah, oh, man. Yo, that's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.